I do believe I'm one of the best grass court players in the world. Getting used to the grass was always a, um, a tricky part. The ATP tennis tour consists of tournaments on grass, clay and hard courts. Wimbledon is the only grass court Grand Slam competition. So what makes a grass court different to others? Grass courts are recognised as the fastest of the three main tennis surfaces. The ball skids off the slick grass as it makes contact, giving a lower bounce and retaining more speed. Clay has a looser surface, creating more friction, which causes a higher bounce, effectively slowing the ball down. Hard courts are in the middle of the two, giving a more neutral bounce and average speed. These surfaces cause different types of play to emerge over the years. For clay courts, patient, defensive play from the back of the court or baseline achieves success. While the aggressive serve and volley technique dominated at Wimbledon for many decades, it makes the most of the grass's unique quality, its speed. Grass courts favour fast servers that send balls rocketing off the grass and are very challenging to return well if they are returned at all. At the other end, the opponent waits. They are positioned to respond quickly before the ball can bounce and angle the ball away. But over time, players evolved to play more defensive on grass, remaining at the baseline in longer rallies. This is due to the use of lighter, stiffer rackets used after 1980 that had bigger heads and better strings. Because of this, the back edge of the court receives the most traffic and becomes barren. By the end of the tournament, the baseline traffic patterns are evident. So how are Wimbledon's courts managed? Grown from 10 metric tonnes of seed each year, renovations for Wimbledon's grass courts begin the previous September. As June nears, the grass is mowed to an exact quarter inch high, which Wimbledon says is the ideal for both play and its survival. In comparison, the lawn of an average home is between two and three inches, while the putting green on a golf course is an eighth of an inch. A crew of 31 ground staff nurture the vegetation each day, but the intense play leaves its mark, leaving parts of the court barren. The lines are reapplied each morning. Before the grass season starts, the final tournament's played is the pinnacle of clay court tennis, the French Open. The two tournaments traditionally require vastly different styles of play due to their surfaces being at opposite ends of the court speed spectrum. This makes winning both of them in the same year a particular challenge for any player.